continuing with physical security and um, in particular with um, smaller items, not the buildings and that sort of thing, but the computer information technology type stuff that you have in the building. And what do you need to do about that? Um, well, let's start off with when it's not in your building and, and you've got your road warriors, you've got your salespeople out on the road, possibly even in different countries, and calling back to the office with their laptops and smartphones and other types of devices. So um, you no longer have control of the environment. You no longer have control of the network. Um, you're going to have to be thinking about things like uh, virtual private networks and uh, whether a virtual private network can be established sometimes. Um, different types of virtual private networks may conflict with uh, certain technologies that the hotels may put in place in terms of their Wi-Fi or you know whatever corporate Wi-Fi they may be using when they are uh, uh, traveling and wherever they happen to be. Uh, could be on a uh, customer uh, premises with uh, their types of security. And they may uh, not like uh, what you have in terms of a virtual private network. So um, having different types of understanding what the problems are may be in terms of the conflicts between different types of security protections is uh, something you need to do. Um, you have to have uh, awareness of the situation, you know, situational awareness, we keep on talking about that. Um, the special protections that you may need for laptops and other devices. Um, encryption. Uh, you know, encrypting the uh, material, uh, you know, the databases and, and uh, spec sheets and, and various things. You know, some of it's going to be public because you hand these things out as flyers to some of the customers, but some of it may not be. So, you know, which is it and what do you need in terms of protection? Cable locks so you can lock down laptops. Um, could be a bit more difficult with regard to uh, smartphones. Um, and people are increasingly using their smartphones uh, as the access point. So, um, you know, you need to consider that and, and what types of uh, locking devices, uh, uh, cabling devices, anti-theft devices do we have in uh, regard to the smartphones uh, and again possibly encryption there as well uh, but in your building of course you know we've talked about compartmentalization and we do need to have uh, room protection in some uh, situations and also um, you know we've talked about duress codes and yeah we need to consider um, that when people are traveling um, you know is, is somebody beating their password out of them as well as stealing the laptop um, so um, hardware device item protection um, uh, consider the the basic basic physical access controls um, that uh, we uh, have discussed in other places um, and we'll discuss um, equipment lockdown devices uh, workstation enclosures possibly even in your own premises um, and of course you want to control removal from a premises otherwise known as theft um, and again you know, hardware device item protection um, locate where the guards are uh, patrolling. Um, you know, uh, this is, uh, again, part of compartmentalization of security. And, uh, you know, are there areas where uh, the guards should uh, pay special attention? 
uh, for protection. Um, there's a lot of interesting things in terms of where you put the guards. Um, and, and we'll probably go into some of that. Um, we've got, um, oh yeah, uh, labeling, marking uh, the equipment as company property. Um, lo okay. Lock up removable media um, and equipment cover locks, um, you know, various, various things like that. We need to make sure that we address all of these physical issues in regard to information security.